What is going on YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review a compilation album by Jim Jones. Basically, this album is called The Dipset Xmas, and it came out in the late fall of 2006. Now, this is a Christmas compilation album. This is like a bonus package. Jim Jones dropped an album in late 2006 called Hustlers P.O.M.E., which had the hit single We Fly High on there. And this has the remix on this particular project, but this also has some Christmas songs. It's a pretty good orientation of a project just because, for the most part, rap music doesn't always encompass kind of like Christmas music and stuff. I mean, this is still kind of a rugged kind of album. This is like a rugged album still, but it does have like a small batch of Christmas songs to have as like a bonus benefit for like the holiday season as far as that kind of happens and stuff. So this is just like a, so this is definitely like some good stuff here. I would have to say really a good batch of the dipset crew is on here stack bundles mel matrix jr Ryder, rel i think rel's like a hook singer i've heard him a few times max b some folks like that Joel santana was supposed to be on here but he's on like the music video version of the we fly high remix so Joel santana is not on here noe is on here from bird gang so there's just some good concepts as far as that kind of happens Jim Jones is not on every song, but there is a good batch of songs that he is on. That a lot of these two hit pretty heavily. So this is just like I was saying, like a bonus package of Dipset and Jim Jones type music. Just an extra kind of valve to get. I really felt like Hustler's P.O.M.E. was definitely a very top-notch album. I don't remember what I scored that back in July, but I want to say I gave it over an 8.5 or even over a 9 out of 10. It was really, like, I really enjoyed that album quite a bit. It had tons of hits on there, despite the fact that Jim Jones at the time was kind of seen as, like, a one-hit wonder just because he wasn't able to follow up. Despite the fact that Jim Jones was kind of seen as a one-hit wonder just because he wasn't able to follow up We Fly High, but they're definitely, I do recommend to check out if you don't know about that particular album. If you don't know about that particular album, Hustlers P.O.M.E., I would recommend to check that one out and then check out this one too because it has some bonus stuff. So basically the thing about this album is it's halfway Christmas songs and halfway kind of like Hustlers P.O.M.E. leftovers. I would have to say there's some good stuff on here. Definitely the concept about it. It is kind of like a compilation album. Like I was saying, Jim Jones is not on every single song, but there's enough good batches on here to recommend getting this. I definitely think, I mean, back in 2006, this is probably a project that ran you maybe eight, 12 bucks, something like that, eight, nine, 10 bucks, something like that. But nowadays it's probably pretty cheap just because it's really only this project for the most part. I think most people, when they think of this project, pretty much only think of like the We Fly High remix, which was a big deal back in the fall of 2006, winter of 2007. But there's definitely some further things to kind of invest in i definitely wanted to cover this particular project just because there is some further hits on here it's just something that i knew about back in the day but just didn't mess with because i thought it was going to be kind of like quirky and kind of gimmicky kind of christmas music but it's not i mean it has some quality on here christmas ambience is kind of in the air on the first five songs in the album so the overall pacing is kind of toned down a bit for those particular songs but it does have some good feels i don't think it detracts from the album i do think that the concept of like getting some christmas spirit kind of hip-hop is definitely a thing that needs to happen more just within the concept jim jones does a pretty good job of conveying like the christmas spirit but not losing his edge as far as that kind of happens so it's definitely a good concept to kind of have that this worked extremely well so I'll go ahead and talk about the single. I'll go ahead and talk about the single. It's basically the We Fly High remix. I do think that they probably should have pushed like another single on here. I think obviously with the Christmas season being so short that they didn't really have enough time to pump out some more singles to kind of get it more promoted. But the We Fly High remix is one that happened. So this is basically like an energized remix. This is an energized remix, definitely like the vitality of this particular song. It's a hit posse cut, and it has some good lyrical barbs on there, I would have to say. Young Dro, T.I., they do some good jobs on there. Diddy does a pretty good job. Jermaine Dupree does a good job. Birdman does a good job. Some good stuff on there. And it's just a reminder of like a posse single. So that doesn't always happen nowadays. When you think of like hit singles, they don't always have like five, six, almost seven cats on there like that. Like some of these times. This is definitely a pretty stacked holiday cut back in the day. I remember this song from I remember this song from BET and MTV back in the day. This was a pretty stacked single as far as I kind of went. This had a lot of pizzazz and jazz about it. The song had a lot of pizzazz and jazz about it that just worked extremely well. Just a really flashy type song that just had a lot of pumped up kind of energy it's just a real energized one that just hits pretty heavily so it's a good single to kind of have it definitely carries this album pretty well and this overall pumps up the album full of like bravado as far as that kind of happens definite good vitality because jim jones could have just released this digitally as a single and that could have been it but i'm glad that there was an album accompaniment to that particular song so that definitely hits some of the other songs on here so I'll go ahead and talk about some of these basically there's 10 songs on this album and out of those 10 songs i wound up recommending to you five plus two almost songs so the thing about it i'm going to go ahead the five songs I recommend would be Ballin' on Xmas, We Fly High Remix, We Get Money, If Every Day Was Xmas and Too High. And the Almost songs would be Dipset Xmas Time and Have a Happy Christmas. So talk about the two Almost songs. Basically, Dipset Xmas Time. 
basically it dips at Xmas time. It's kind of a relaxed kind of Christmas day cut. I would have to say this is definitely a song you could listen to on the exact Christmas day. As far as that kind of goes, this has a lot of ambient and kind of comfy vibes about it. It's just kind of a holiday jingle, but it only really works for, I would say like, this is a holiday jingle, but I would say this song really only works for like right around Christmas, like Christmas Eve, Christmas day, stuff like that. Maybe December 26, some of those particular type days. It just doesn't have like the ambience and overall comfy vibes just don't really fit for like most of this year. I'd say this really between like maybe December 23rd and 26th as far as that kind of happens. It's just a real kind of ambient kind of comfiness. It's that standard appeal of like the Christmas Day type feeling as far as that kind of happens. Just the relaxation kind of vibes to that particular aspect. So this is kind of the thing there. It's just a real, I mean, really this is not really a bustling kind of song or out and about have some drinks type songs just really kind of kick back maybe have some eggnog something like that just appreciate the sights and that just kind of appreciate the winter and that type of stuff as far as that kind of happens but it, it's a comfort it's definitely a comfortable kind of song and i do like the vibes of it but it just doesn't work for most of it's a comfortable vibe but it really only works for like christmas day approximately so that's this kind of thing but then have a happy christmas is another nice one this is a pretty pace ed have a happy christmas is a pretty nice one this is a jivey kind of city nights flash i would have to say this is an on the go cut definitely and it's got a this song has a fun pacing and drive about it but it has no jim jones on there so this is definitely kind of one i do like the kind of up tempo kind of snappy feel of this particular one this is definitely one for like some city bustles this is definitely one for like some city bustles as far as that kind of happens just really like the thrilling kind of snappy kind of beat and this overall the electric kind of but it's not really electric, but it just kind of has like a bouncy type production on there. It just has like a lot of fun drive about it. The disc works pretty well. Definitely one for some bustle just in the holiday season. But once again, this doesn't have Jim Jones on there. Definitely could have used him. But I do feel like Stack Bundles and Mel Matrix do a pretty good job with this particular one. But Anita Jim Jones, definitely a pretty bustling one to kind of have. But that one is an almost song for that concept. But then talk about some of these other songs like. Basically, a song I full blown recommend that's probably one of my favorite songs on this particular album is Ballin' on Xmas. This is just a definite highlight on here. This is just a definite highlight on here. This is like a low key kind of bubbling house party track, I would have to say. This is like a good sit brew and kind of kickback song. And I feel like this has just got kind of like a mini dance job about it. So, this is another one that can be played on Christmas Day. Not quite as ambient and as comfortable as Dips at Xmas time. I would feel like Ballin' on Xmas is just a little bit more of like a social kind of shindig if you do have like some Christmas party kind of vibes where you have some people there and just some fraternizing and that type of stuff not just sit. balling on xmas is not just strictly family affairs i would have to say this is more of like a social shindig those type feels as far as that kind of happens definitely like the kind of vibey type feels of balling on xmas this is just a good kind of really like the low mid tempo kind of riveting feel balling on xmas that's a definite good one and then some of these other ones like if every day was xmas is a good xmas season two holiday fair i would have to say this is some wintry majesty and it's just got some frosty bustle and overall fun vibes about it so this is one that's kind of off of a former christmas carol don't really know the song but it just has some good holiday bustle as far as that kind of happens just a good pizzazz for like the winter as far as that kind of goes just some frosty kind of out and about type fair for just traverse and just residential strolling just walking about in like the holiday season that type of stuff just the bustle like the good wintry type feels as far as that kind of happens this is just a good one for just kind of some city hopping and just stuff like that or residential hopping as far as that kind of goes just in like the xmas season definitely a good tune this one more so than dips at xmas time and balling on xmas are kind of just maybe like late november december type fair where some of these are just kind of the holiday season more so than just specifically christmas day but it is a pretty good one to kind of have and then they talk about some of these album cuts on here that are not oriented towards Christmas. Basically, We Get Money is a pretty good highlight on here. This is an out on the grind kind of city flash of a song, I would have to say. It's just some wintry night pizzazz, definitely. And this song is a good strolling track for when it's cold outside. So this is just kind of a residential kind of hop and bop type tune for the winter season as far as that kind of happens. Just a good city flash as far as that kind of goes. Just I'm glad that Jim Jones had some of these particular type ones. I mean, this can kind of be a traverse tune in some cases for like a cruising around, but I really feel like this is more like residential, just kind of walking around and like the city and like the winter type feels definitely has a lot of pizzazz about it just some good city bop as far as it kind of happens and then too high is like a more flashy one this is probably like the most litty type song and i would say that too high is like another city flash of a song on here this is probably like the most flashy song in the particular album this one just has like a lot of pizzazz about it this is just like a flashy kind of dreary night pizzazz i would have to say it's some quick times with like a cooler weather traverse feels about it and this is just a song that's kind of out in the wind so this is definitely one where you're just kind of just completely amongst like the nightlife and just really enjoying like the quick life as far as that kind of happens. Just really 
I mean, despite the fact that this is on a holiday album, you wouldn't be able to tell just with this particular song because just the living is so fast and just overall abundant and just kind of vicarious, I would have to say. This is definitely a pretty vicarious song. It's a good one to kind of have in that sort of sense as far as like some some really kind of vital kind of living as far as I kind of have it's just enjoying getting money. And Too High is a great song for enjoying nights out and smokage and getting money and that type of stuff as far as like quick living as far as that kind of happens. But this one's definitely a kind of a dreary type feel about it. This really the blurry kind of feels of just like a fast life as far as that kind of happens. It's a nice one for that sort of ambience but yeah i just would have to say is that's the songs on the album i recommend so basically five songs i in total kind of recommend three of the christmas songs i basically recommending five songs out of ten on this particular album plus two almost songs i'm gonna go ahead and give this album like a 6.75 out of 10 i feel like there's a lot of good stuff on this particular project a lot of good stuff to kind of talk about there's really some good bonus packaging on here that i feel like is a good accompaniment and kind of a stocking stuffer to kind of have I kind of feel like Dipset Xmas time is like a good song to kind of have on Christmas Day and the approximate days around that. That's kind of why that's an almost song. And then Have a Happy Christmas just didn't have Jim Jones on there. But I would have to say basically the concept about it. This is really like a great idea and just an overall original and kind of innovative concept that just hit the nail on the head pretty heavily. I would have to say this is some great wintry kind of music. And I feel like Jim Jones succeeded in kind of giving like I feel like Jim Jones succeeded in kind of giving some wintry type feels in like a city night's flash as far as that kind of happens. So these are just some cool weather, kind of cold tunes to kind of have for like some frostiness and just overall holiday fare. Great for like mid-November to about the Christmas time, New Year's as far as that kind of happens. Just some great winter music as far as that kind of goes. So 6.75 score, I would have to say. Really the problem with this album, just one of the few problems about this project is just the fact that it could have used an original single. I really feel like Ballin' on Xmas would have been a great one to have kind of used as far as that kind of went. But other than that, this is it's a pretty top-notch project. This has the stuff in spades, but I just kind of feel like it just is kind of problem with it is is when you have a short album and there's songs you don't enjoy it kind of detracts from the score but just to talk about some of these songs i didn't enjoy on here like kind of talk about some of the songs i didn't enjoy on here like wish list and city boys were just two beats on here that i just didn't vibe with quite as much these were just kind of some bustling type ones that just didn't really have the liveliness or vitality that, that kind of felt like was necessary wish list was just kind of an xmas type tune that just didn't fit that well just didn't really have that spark that i was looking for and then city boys was just kind of that same malaise just a little bit of like a worse version of we get money as far as that kind of happened and then letter to the game was just a max b song that just didn't do him justice he was kind of an affiliate with jim jones he's been in prison for a while but he just didn't have a too good a song he i mean he was good on too high but he didn't have I didn't vibe as much with Letter to the Game, but I just would have to say, for the most part, this is a pretty, overall, this is just a pretty clever, original, and heavy-hitting project that just works extremely well for, like, the winter fair and holiday season, as far as that kind of happens. This is good in that assortment, as far as that kind of goes. The social score, I'm going to go ahead and give this album, like, a 7.75, because I feel like there are some good tunes on here. I definitely feel like the We Fly High remix is a pretty good bop to kind of have. Just an excellent posse cut, and it just has a lot of exuberant energy about it. There's some good tunes on here, like Ballin' on x -Mess. Ballin' on Xmas, and if every day was Xmas, they kind of have some good fare. And then there's some kind of leftover tunes from Hustlers POME on here that have some good highlights of just some quick living and City Flash, like We Get Money and Too High. So those are some excellent ones to kind of have. So there is some good energy. I just feel like the energy on here is pretty good. Just needed the hit single, apart from We Fly High Remix. But apart from that, this is a pretty stellar project, this would have to say. So in terms of the future, like Jim Jones has put out an album in 2023, so he has some new stuff. Apparently, he dropped a Bird Gang 2 album. That was something that came out this year also so i'm curious about that but i would have to say this is a pretty excellent album here 6.75 score 7.75 social this would have to say i would pick this up for like a stocking stuffer and just kind of some bonus material that kicks ass so some good stuff here